That's it is. The, it is shocking. Um, you know, Kamala sort of. You know, when she says you're at the wrong rally when someone's talking about you know Christ and Jesus, it right. is sort and of that. Gonna, they want to. They say that the Catholic hospital should not be. Uh, you know, excused from performing abortions, abortions. and wow. uh, and, and I and you know that what my my listeners were saying yesterday after we we tweeted it out and talked to to the guy Daryl, uh, they said you know are they is the priest putting these on the cars and trucks that probably have, not uh, Harris Biden. Waltz probably not stickers no. Hey, what do you think what's going on with New Hampshire? There's a poll, Trump's ahead. Uh, we know Sununu used to, you know, bring out Nikki Haley back in the, you know, when she was thinking she was going to, you know, come back, come back yeah. and emerge. You, New Hampshire's a very interesting state because, you know, the governors tend to be Republican, but when you send people to Congress, they're all Democratic. It's right. a lot of bedroom community, you know. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a, po a poll came out yesterday uh, saying that uh, Trump has a slight, slight lead, like, a, like, you know, within the margin of error. There's a, uh, Sununu was not running for re-election after 10 years as governor, and uh, Kelly Ayotte, the former senator, is has got a, uh, a slight lead, four-point lead on the uh, former mayor of uh, Manchester. So I, I think uh, it's it's very, uh, it, it's, it's different, too, because there's no early voting in New Hampshire, but there is same-day registration. So so the Republicans are now trying to do the same thing that the Democrats do in the college towns. The, the Democrats Go bring ahead. out all the college students, so the Republicans are going after people well, who like, you know, belong to gun clubs but aren't registered to vote. Well, because they're panicked because Biden took the state by, I believe, seven points right. last time around. So if it's just Trump with just a little lead, it kind of shows it, oh, it yeah. mirrors what we're seeing with the early voting. All right, Howie, let's talk about this joke. Uh, the one moment in Madison Square Garden where the left is able to sort of make it now and try to make it part of the news cycle. We'll play it. This is um, uh, the insult comedian talking about Puerto Rico. You know. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. You know, Democrats aren't concerned that George Lopez the day before said this about Mexicans when he was introducing Tim Waltz. Donald Trump said he was going to build a wall. And George Lopez said... You better build it in one day, because if you leave that material out there overnight, <laughs> he also said that he was going to get Mexico to pay for the wall. I wish you would have asked me. So that's the double standard, isn't it? And I'm not even offended by any of it, and I'm I'm Latina. I mean, it's you can't yeah, be funny I, today. You know, I, I mean, I, they probably shouldn't have brought that guy on. I mean, he's he's an he's an insult comedian. That's what he does these roasts. I mean, <laughs> right. ask Tom Brady how he reacted. <laughs> I mean, he he said some terrible things about Tom Brady at that roast. But, you know, you're right. It's the double standard. I mean, remember when uh, Mitt Romney once said something was a tar baby, and I said, oh, that's racist. John Kerry had said the same thing. Nobody blinked an eye. It's a problem with the you know legacy media, and they've been holding her water for a long time. Campaign put out a statement saying, obviously, it doesn't share those views. Uh, tonight, Allentown, Pennsylvania, we just have in our final seconds here, 54% of the population identifies Hispanic or Latino. Um, you know, Donald Trump had a really powerful uh, roundtable with Latinos. So where does where does this all this go? I mean, AOC well, and all of them are going to use the, it as fodder. Yeah, they're going to use it as fodder, but I don't think it, uh, it it resonates. I mean, how many you know the mainstream media has been promoting this for for almost a decade now, and it's just it's just no no one takes them seriously anymore. I mean, je that's what Jeff Bezos was basically saying, the yeah. owner of the Washington Post, when his when he said this is why we don't endorse anymore. And, and it, the polls I've seen, uh, Bianca. Uh, you know, the uh, the Hispanic community is just as much into deporting illegal aliens as every other community. Yes, they are. Well, when you have uh, Trump bumper stickers in Bellingham, Massachusetts, too, I'm very <laughs> proud. It's great to see. <laughs> right down on the Rhode Island line. Howie Carr, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations Thanks, on the new book. Fantastic read. Thank you.